hello all welcome to tech chapter myself vishal ulubule and in this video we are going to see how to prepare for associate cloud engineer gcp certification exam so there are multiple gcp certification provided by google cloud in which we have a foundational level certificate that is a cloud digital leader but though it is not considered as a fully technical certifications it's a cover of functional knowledge related to a cloud computing and then we have associate certification cloud engineer and then in professional certification we have a multiple specialty certification we could say as in this we have a main a cloud architect certification then we have a data engineer network engineer security engineer and multiple certification but if you want to start your google cloud journey then a cloud associate cloud engineer is the first certification you have to do so it's not like without this certification you cannot appear for the propel certi professional certification there is no prerequisite like that way in gcp but yeah this is a certification you should first appear if you want to start with your google cloud journey so uh, as i already cleared my gcp associate and few of the professional level certification based on uh, my uh, exam study and based on my exam experience i can guide you through how to pass this exam with your minimal effort so first thing if i say if we want to study for exam the first thing you have to get cleared all your concepts so if you say about the concept then it's not only about a google cloud it should be your networking your storage or your compute concept so if you go to the google cloud you could see there are a lot of services provided by a google cloud so first thing you should know why the services are used so suppose if you are using compute service then why you should use a compute service or which services should used for a which purpose that concept you should have cleared so basically this associate cloud engineer exam covers what to use instead of how to use so you should know what services of the gcp cloud you should use for your requirement so if you want to get the knowledge on this concept you can either watch a udemy videos or any course you can take on udemy or you can go through youtube channels or there are some youtube videos you can go so it based on individual so some of the individual get uh, concept cleared using a udemy some gets through the youtube video so it's up to you how you want to grasp this concept second thing is hands on are very must if you want to study any cloud so you have to perform the hands on on the cloud console you have to create services you have to create resources and you have to walk through all these a gcp console to get a clear understanding of a google cloud console second thing is when you start working on a individual services so best way i could say to get the knowledge on the gcp services and feature so what i referred is if you uh, use this priyanka vargadia sketch notes so these are very useful and you can use this to understand the things and understand the services so here is a github repo she has created and you can just check any of these services suppose i'll check for cloud build or cloud net then she is explained in a very good way what is the use what is the features of these services so she has explained in all the services so you can refer this it is very easy to understand and easy to remember so you can just use this sketch notes to get your concept cleared and what to remember in these services why to use the services what are the different features of the services all these things are mentioned uh, in this sketch notes also you can refer a google documentation also to get the features and the concepts cleared the second thing is prepared so once you got your concept cleared the, on the services at least you should know what all services are available in gcp and why these services are used for this exam it's always good to have complete knowledge but at least to pass this exam you should know which all are services available in gcp and why these services are used so how to use these services what are the configuration we need to do all these things are mentioned in a google document and you can refer that but main concept you should know is what all services are there and which services should use for a which requirement then second thing is prepare so what means prepare is how to check the exam pattern so you should go through this certification page 
you should check what are the exam patterns so mostly the pattern is same if it is changing you should check this uh, latest on official website so there are two hours of exam time and there will be a 50 multiple choice questions so you have to register this exam and once you register uh, you can either choose for remote proctored or you can attend this exam on a testing center so how to register this exam i have already covered in my previous video if you want to check you can go and check this previous video on how to register for an exam so second thing once you prepared so again one more thing is to read a google documentation so for every service google has provided very detailed uh, documentation so you have to go through google cloud documentation so i'll just show you where are these and how this google cloud documentation can be accessed so here are the documentation for each service so suppose i want to access the documentation for compute so i'll just click on compute engine and just i'll just go either on about machine families so here virtual machine instances all the details documentation google has provided on their official document website okay you can refer all these documents for detailed study and then second thing will be a mock exam so at the last once you get a clear understanding of the services before appearing for exam you should prepare for a sample question because this will help for your actual exam once you start solving a sample question you will get a clear understanding of the type of question you can get in the exam and this will definitely help so where you can solve or where you can get this sample question so first sample question there will be 20 sample question will be there on a exam site so here you could see the you where you get the sample questions so this will be a 20 sample question but to help you with this more sample question there are a couple of website i will show you so first is the exam topics so suppose exam topics let me go with exam topics okay so this is a one site where you can get a sample question of all kind of a certification so first uh, just search with the google and then go with the associate cloud engineer okay so in this website there are uh, questions so here one thing is if you want to go for a paid version you can go for a paid version of this uh, exam topics or you can just uh, go to associate cloud engineer exam and go through this question the most important part here is for every question you have to follow the discussion because answer are not all answers are showing correct here so just follow the discussion and community distribution so in discussion uh, many of the candidates uh, you could see the candidates giving why this answer is correct they are giving the explanation they are giving the justification so these are very useful discussion and it will also help you to get your concepts cleared if you are having any confusion in any of the questions so that is the first and very helpful so in real exam you will get a questions either similar question from here or uh, you will get as it is question from here yeah but you should be prepared for all scenarios it's up to your luck so no one will guarantee you that you will get all the question from here yeah for me i got a lot of question from this exam topics website but yeah from this question you will get an understanding of what kind of questions will be there in exam and it will definitely help you so without solving any sample question don't appear for exam so it is my suggestion and also sometimes one major drawback of these uh, exam topic side if you are using the free version then after every page refresh you have to click on this i am not a robot and after a few pages it will ask you for a paid version so if you are comfortable you can go for a paid version or there are other sites also so gcp exam questions so there is this one more site gcp exam question so here are a sample question so the similar way you can appear this sample test from here also so just reveal and you could say based on the answer they have provided the 
documents or reference to that answers also that okay these documents will justify this answer so from this you can go for a sample question and this sample question will definitely help you in the exam either you will get a similar question or you will get as it is question or if you get a new questions also with reference to this studied question you will able to answer the questions in the exam one more thing for this associate cloud engineer exam i want to specify is you should go for all the g cloud command for this associate cloud engineer exam no other exam will specifically ask on the g cloud command yeah they will ask but not that much specifically and focus on g cloud command yes but associate cloud engineer exam specific for a g cloud command specifically on g cloud command on your kubernetes operation like how to deploy the services how to create a cluster and the kubectl command also in your deployment manager g cloud command so you should go through the g cloud command in sample question you will found this uh, mostly used the g cloud command so you can refer that also so that's it for associate cloud engineer exam i wish you all the best if you are appearing for exam and if you need a special guidance or any of the help you can reach out to me i have email id on my youtube videos description so you can mail me and reach out to me if you need any guidance or help from me to get the certifications or a study or a concepts clear so i will definitely help you so thank you for watching the video and all the best for your exam